what's going on guardians welcome to another destiny 2 video in this video today i just wanted to show you guys how you can get your hands on the iterative loop which is the new fusion rifle from new muna now this weapon is going to be great in pvp of course bungie announced that fusion rifles alongside a lot of other weapons are going to get a buff so it's a great time to get your hands on one of these right now if you find any of the information in this video useful go ahead and support me and get this video to 20 likes but otherwise guys let's get straight to the video to start things off guys head over to new muna and load up the terminal overload and once you land in pull out your ghost and simply what you're doing here is, is you're looking out for any of the heroic patrols now there's two types of heroic patrols that can spawn in the area first one being the bullseye reflex which all it requires you to do is get 10 headshots now i personally use my submission SMG from Val to get these headshots done as quickly as possible. I do recommend using the div, you can get easy headshots with that, but otherwise use any weapon in your liking to get those 10 headshots. The second heroic patrol that you may come across is the charge the front line. Now this one is a circle with a star in the middle. It's probably my favorite. It just requires you to go to a specific area and clear the enemies that are there. There's usually a few red bars and a yellow bar that you need to kill. Once you kill these guys, you have a chance of getting a red border at the end. So if you spawn in the overload area and there's no heroic patrols, all you simply need to do do is just reload the area go back into overload and there's a chance of it spawning another now of course it's not guaranteed to get a heroic patrol every single time personally myself i went through sessions where i was getting them back to back and then there was times where it was kind of slow and i wasn't getting any and it took a few reloads to get one. Now in terms of red borders, in my personal experience, I was getting them every like four to five heroic patrols. So I would just say keep farming them until you get the actual red border that you want. In this case, the iterative loop. Now for some tips on how you can make this farm a little less tedious for yourselves. Now to speed up the farm, you can always do this with a friend. What you can do is just go into two different sessions and, and keep reloading the overload until one of you gets a heroic patrol. Once one of you has a heroic patrol, join that person's session and complete the heroic patrol and you both have a chance of getting a red border upon completion if you grow restless of constantly reloading your overload what you can do is just keep an eye out for the vex strike force event that spawns in the vex incursion area now these events you have a guaranteed chance of getting an exotic for the class that you're playing as alongside that you get 500 new mina xp which goes straight to nimbus and every single time that you rank up nimbus you get a legendary engram as a reward and if you have him to level 30 every single one of your legendary engrams will be a new muna drop so you have a chance of getting red borders from him as well now if you load into an overload and the public event is on stage three also jump in there and finish off the boss and grab the chest that drops at the end because you also get new Muno rank XP from that as well and you also have a chance of getting new Muno weapons from that now I'm not too certain if you have a chance of getting your red border from that chest at the end but if anyone has received any red borders from that please do go ahead and leave a comment down below to let everyone else know from here it's just a matter of rinse and repeat it is going to be a grind destiny isn't destiny without it being a grind so like i said just go ahead and just jump into numina and take advantage of this and get all the weapons that you need but otherwise guys i believe that leads us to the conclusion of the video if you found any of the information in this video useful do go ahead and leave a like to support me let's get this video to at least 20 likes now also if you're new to my channel go ahead and subscribe and turn on the bell icon so you don't miss out on any of my future destiny 2 content but anyway guys have a wonderful day and as always peace out